Hello everybody and welcome back. Storms are past. Simon's place is nice and safe and it was, thank you for all your lovely, lovely uh, comments on that video, but ultimately he's a friend and he is 10 minutes up the road. That is what we should all be doing in life to help friends out when they need it. Wouldn't the world be such a nicer place if we all thought like that? Now, got a bit of a project on today because I am having the almost autumn. I was gonna say spring clean, but it's clearly not spring. I'm, I'm, clear, I'm clearing out a little bit of some bits and pieces I don't need. Lots of projects that are half done that I have changed my mind on. Lots of things which can be cleared away and this is always a lovely, lovely feeling with all of this clearing up that has to be done for the party with Billy and everybody and then of course the, the big party for the birthday and all the rest of it. It's lovely to carry that on and clear out. So I'm gonna do a project today and see if I still like it or not. And what I want to do is just get this wing back Chesterfield chair in the sort of condition that you'd actually like to sit in it rather than throw it away because it's rough around the edges and I don't really know if it's a bit of me or not. Start to see the difference. This isn't proper leather cleaning or anything, I'm just cleaning this up with something just to get the, the stuff off to begin with, just an antibacterial as well. Yeah, let's see what we're dealing with after that. The biggest problem, as we can tell, is going to be this beading. I do have an idea. What I have to do now seems a bit backwards, but I'm actually gonna put loads of the leather care cream that I have all over this, because to really scrub away at this nicely, to get a good finish and a clean finish, I actually want the leather to be a little bit more supple first, so I don't do any damage, so we'll coat it in the leather care cream, which is actually for my cars. Let that soak in, then we see what we can do. Obviously, it's not soaked in yet, but you can see the instant difference between the old dry leather which is obviously hard this instantly feels a bit more supple so we'll do a bit of this let it soak in got much better chance of uh, working with this then this has had a bit of time to soak in it's actually had two coats now i did a second coat off camera to soak in weather's changed dramatically i'm probably going to get another phone call to help with storm issues now biggest problem on this for the restoration of this chair is the beading what do you do with beading that has gone like this? Well, I've got two options and this is the first one. So I've just been trying this out of camera. Look at that. So this is all coming up and that is literally using a gentle polishing wheel, a little bit of gentle metal polish and just being very, very careful along the way to not hurt the leather. This could work, let's see. Mm. Gently applied, let's have a go. Be a bit gentle. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. That's... Uh, yeah, what? Yes. I think we're going to have to get the little Dremel bit out. Use a smaller one, we can get in there a little bit better. I can't find my Dremel, which is always a pain. Uh, so what I'm using is metal polish there, which you use on, I don't know, well, I use on the cars and stuff. Um, there are a couple of other options, but what I need to think about with those other options is where I put it. Because originally that was bought to be, I was going to do the leather paint, the leather cream which changes the colour of the paint, uh, the leather to a uh, blue colour to go in the blue room upstairs and failing that when I was going to change the colour of the sofas and armchairs to a more of a red colour for the drawing room you could have also gone in there I don't really know if I even want it anymore so what I do for that reason whether I do the, one of the two options left with it is uh, a good question. I suppose it could be in the library, the games room, because um, it hasn't got much furniture to sit on when you're sort of playing pool and having a laugh with friends. But so that would also comes down to the same question. You can, we can just uh, clean up and then uh, cover up the, that beading. The same as on the cream Chesterfield where it was done in a gold colour. Uh, that's just sort of a rub and buff type stuff, uh, like a pate. It's very, very easy to do. And that would obviously, after a quick clean up with the Dremel and the polishing of um, that beading, that would help that. But the question is, I mean, gold's a bit too way, way, way too much for that green color, I think, if it's gonna keep that green color. If it's, you know, a darky, uh, a gray, dark, dark gray, you know, almost black, uh, you know, sort of polish. Oh, I don't know. Um, what colour would you do the beading? That's my question. I can't finish that today. Uh, I've got to go and find the Dremel. I've got to go and get the different colour pate if I'm going to do it that way. So, what would you do? There we go. You know, do you think it suits any of those rooms? If so, which room and what colour would you do the leather? Would you leave it green? And on top of that, what? Uh, you know, with that, what would you do that beading? Because I think it's going to be a much, much easier to, to clean it up and do it with the rub and buff than it is to try to get it all back properly. Or is this just a piece that needs to go? Because I'm a bit meh with it. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it in the comments. That way, by the time I read the comments in the morning, I can make a decision, go to the shop, buy everything I need, and get it done tomorrow. Along with everything else I've got to do. So, have a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing what you think. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do. I'll see you all next time. Bye now.